Hi, it's Frankie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an Azure Container App in two minutes. I found a Container App in the Azure Marketplace. I'll start creating now. I'll start by adding my subscription, my resource group. I'll create a name for my Azure Container App, and I'll need an Azure Container App environment. This is the secure boundary that will contain all of my container apps that also hooks up in the Log Analytics workspace. I'll select my default region to be the same as my resource group, and I'll create my Azure Container Apps environment. Workload profiles are helpful if you need specific compute and resources that are always available for your workloads. For demo purposes, I'll choose consumption. Zone redundancy helps you with high availability if you need to have multiple locations for your Azure Container App. I'll allow the default log analytics workspace to be created for logging. And you could choose to have your own virtual network if you want to have private networking within your Azure Container App environment. When choosing the container to use for your Azure Container App, you could choose to use your own custom image from an Azure Container Registry or from Docker Hub, and you just simply select the registry, the image, the tag, and even a command if you want. You can also specify the CPU and memory if you'd like. I'll be using the Quick Start image for now. After reviewing my information, I'm ready to create my container app. I'll speed it up until it's done. My deployment is successful, and now I can go to my container app. I can now see the overview of my container app here, along with the application URL, which I can copy, go into the browser, and see that my container app is live. And now that I'm live, I can go to these links to learn more and even click this to see more information about my container app. Now that you've seen how easy it is to create an Azure container app, your next step is to check out these links in the description below. If this was helpful for you, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if you missed my video on the Azure container apps overview, you can click that here or in the description now. Thanks, I'll see you in the next one.